you, you look at it and you say, uh, what's the best word to describe it? And, yeah, and look, I've been there, so this is not the pot calling. This is the pot calling. Kettle, <laughs> immaturity. It's just bo immaturity on both of them's part. They're both young drivers, great race car drivers. They've shown through the years or through this year that they can contend for the championship and be there at the end. In the end... Their youthful exuberance got the best of them. Stenthouse runs over the, tw the two car, and the two comes back out. And I like what he says. He says, it was just undrivable. It was pretty dang undrivable because he aimed it really nice yeah. and drove off yeah. down in that first corner and run over the nine. You feel bad for the guy in the 32 who got caught up in somebody else's mess, but there's no place for that in racing. And, 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 and we've, look, I've done it. I've had it done to me. I've run over people on purpose. I, I'll admit it. <laughs> I, you know, but there's no place for that in this sport. And I think at this level... And with the TV coverage that Speed affords that series now and that type of stuff, you can't do it. Used to, we'd do it up here in Martinsville, and 80,000 people would know about it, maybe. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's about it. Now everybody knows about it. 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 So Kyle, that, that, it's certainly not going to be tolerated no. once these guys get to the cup no. level. Oh, no, I mean, no. <laughs> And it wouldn't have <laughs> no. been in the truck series. That would have no. not have been no, tolerated in the truck not. series e either. You know what I mean? So let's say in NASCAR, that would not have been tolerated at all. ARCA's a little bit different series. They have a little bit different rules. Uh, and but he knows he's not staying. Yeah, he's yeah, moving and he, on. And he's not staying yeah. there, and neither is Stenhouse. And those the championship's decided. Yeah, and the championship's decided. So those guys aren't staying there. You'd like to congratulate Justin uh, Algaier yeah, for, yeah. because obviously he ran competitive oh, enough to be able to take Oh, he was sitting back watching. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that, man. The kid's a great race car driver, and I think we, we, we're going to see that. We saw him in the Penske car. Yep. So these guys are not going to be there long term, but it just puts a black eye on ARCA. If we have this kind of stuff with these guys, they're going to have a, a bad reputation by the time they get here. Most of the guys that come out of that series have had a really good reputation when they got the truck, when they got the Nationwide, when they got the cup. But this is not a good way for Scott Speed to start. I don't, I don't care. Yeah. R Ricky was wrong. The Stanhouse kid was wrong, okay, on the first thing. But re the second punch is always the punch the referee sees, and that's the one we see more of. Kyle Petty, yes or no, does the punishment fit the crime here? No, I'm not, I'm not backing down from what I said last time. He should have been set home and set in a car. Set in, he should be sitting in Columbia, Missouri right now watching this race on TV. That's my opinion. I'm sorry. I don't give a rat's rear end what y'all say. Okay? I don't give a rat's rear end what you say. What I'm telling you is there was intent here. This was not for position. This was he was he sat in the garage area for 150 laps and comes out and forget the wreck. Forget what happened there. He intentionally wrecked this guy and not for position. When we see some of the things that have happened in the past in the sport with Earnhardt. Rusty, myself, other people who have driven, it's always been for position. This was revenge, and there's no place in NASCAR for the competitors to take revenge on another competitor. I don't care. If I, if I just go out here and run four laps and then sit in the garage area and say, I'm going to go take Kenny, Kenny Wallace's butt out. Freak. I'm going to wait until he gets up there, but I'm going to go take Kenny's butt out. That's wrong, and that's what Carl did or what it looks like Carl did. I'm not in Carl's mind. I'm a big fan of Carl's. Now, let's be honest, but this was a stupid mistake. And I, I, don't, I don't care. Somebody should have paid more than a three-race probation. So, so you're saying that was premeditated murder? <laughs> Post, <laughs> of not, a race not, car. Not murder. Hey, we didn't go all the way to murder. One of a race car. One la oh, there of a race pe car. There were some people saying he was no, trying to commit no, no, murder. No, no. Yeah, and when you look at this, you know, he hooks him on the right and turns him into the outside wall. The thing is, what happened down in turns one and two was a racing incident. What happens here is totally different. So, gentlemen, is the punishment enough? Is this enough? Do we need more punishment for Kyle Busch? What do I think? What do you think? Okay, my opinion is no. Punishment is not enough. But I thought Carl Edwards should have set out three weeks, too. That was Kyle's opinion, not the opinion of this network or any of its affiliates or anybody else. My opinion, because I thought that was as blatant an incident as anything I'd ever seen, coming out of the garage area and wrecking Brad. This incident ranks right there with it. I don't say it's any worse than that incident, but I think those are two marks where... When the NASCAR says, we'll know it when we see it, I think they saw it once and didn't act on it. I think they acted this time. But, but I'm going to call you two guys off, okay? When are owners going to grow a set and control their own house? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me say something. That's fair question. This, this is not NASCAR's problem right, all the time. When you have stuff that happens, Roush or Joe Gibbs that we just saw, they've got to step up and say, that's my child. It's the parents' fault I sometimes, agree. not so much the sanctioning body. We're making NASCAR the bad guy. And look, I'll, I'll criticize NASCAR. I think you're 100% right. Thing. But at some point in time, owners have to well, step up. When, I think, I, when I, am I, I going to fix I this? I think that's what everyone's kind of sitting back waiting to see, yeah. too. All right, the fine for Jeff Gordon, $100,000 docked, 25 points, but no suspension or parked, as we call it, in NASCAR. Appropriate? Should there have been something more severe? Oh, yeah. His butt should be sitting at home in his apartment really? in New York you or you Charlotte. Or yeah, shoot, yeah. I, I, I think we go back, but I think it's another time that NASCAR is inconsistent on what they do. I, I think if we use the Carl Edwards situation when he wrecked Brad a couple of years ago, they did nothing. Whoa, hands off. We didn't, nothing happened. 
that was premeditated. Carl sat in the garage area, went out and wrecked the two car. This was premeditated. If we use the, the 15, or if we use the Kyle Bush incident last year, he took Hornaday's chance of a championship away. That had championship implications, and they set him out. Now, the argument is, well, look at all that Kyle Bush did. If NASCAR had stepped in the Kyle Bush when he first started doing stuff, we wouldn't have got to that point. This had but championship it, implications. This had championship implications. That was under caution with Kyle Bush. That was something that was important in terms of safety to the sport. Yeah, the, for, it's all important as far as safety goes. You can't throw safety out on one wreck and not throw but safety out. But your guard out. is down a little bit when you're under caution. Doesn't make any difference. Hornaday's what? He was looking in the mirror yeah, thinking, the what the heck's he said, doing? But when you look at the 24, the 24 should have been parked. But I said it the other night. They're not going to park him because he's Jeff Gordon. Four times. Okay? They're not going to park him. And they didn't. And $100,000 and 25 points when you're already falling like a rock and you've already got more money than God, then it doesn't make any difference. So I think when you look at it, it, right. it doesn't hurt anything. I'm not going to change his Set him home. I don't like the Kyle Bush comparison home. of the body of work It's there, the perfect. But, it's the perfect Michael, comparison. Uh, he moved out of the way. Now, here he is on the second one, and he stays in line farther down the racetrack, and we see the six of Trevor Bain, and right here is where the controversy comes in. Is Kevin trying to get out of the way? Does he not know that the six car is there? I, I don't know. He crosses the line. I think Kevin crosses the line going up the racetrack. We heard the entire Gibbs organization yeah. almost when we interviewed him say that was done on purpose because he couldn't afford to lose any spots to make this chase. And, and I'm going to say this. Look, we, we, we're, we don't have enough time here to talk about this and do it justice. I'm just going to say this. I hate to see this. This moment right here between these two guys, both that I respect a lot. Both, both these guys I respect a lot. I hate to see this in a sport my grandfather grew up in, I grew up in, my son grew up in, you grew up in, that we know and love. This is so uncalled for. This is a black eye. We talk about how great Jeff Gordon and how big that day was. This is total BS right here. I don't care. The stuff that was said on the radio, the stuff that went on, this is total BS uh, to take somebody out that's leading the race. The way it was done, the way this is handled, and, I, you know, if this is the way NASCAR race, we don't need to be a joke. This is a joke. This makes our sport a joke. I'm sorry. I'm going on record and say it. This is what people laugh about NASCAR at at the water coolers on Monday morning. Sorry. Kyle, your thoughts? Marty, my friend, there's so <laughs> many layers to this onion. Oh, yeah. We'll we go could ahead fry it. Peel the first one. We could deep fry it and sell it at Outback. Okay? <laughs> it's a blooming onion. Let me just tell you. So here's the thing. So I, I disagree a little, and, and, oh. and this is what I say. He should have been suspended for the rest of the year. Wow. Rest okay. of the year. Okay. He drives for Denny Hamlin, who has been vocal about safety. His teammate, the only reason he's in the 45 car is his teammate's career was all but ended because of a, an accident in this car that the drivers has vocalized that it needs to be safer. He turns a guy in the right rear into the outside wall intentionally, steering brake, that's laughable, okay? Turns a guy into the outside wall then walks across the racetrack. First, you intentionally wreck somebody. That's a suspension. He's walking across the racetrack and cars are going by him on both sides. That's not safe. Mm -hmm. That should be another suspension. Physically confronts a driver, shoves him. That's a physical confrontation. If I do that on the sidewalk, I'm in handcuffs somewhere, okay? So he physically confronts this driver, shoves an official, doesn't get in an ambulance, walks back to the pits, and then stands in bold face, tells a fib, I'm being nice, <laughs> to my man here, Marty Snyder, who did a great job in your interview. Thank I will you, give you that. Um, so the lesson should be the rest of the year, just the rest of the year. And that's, that's just me, okay? Um, my man, Matt Kenseth, who didn't speak to me for almost a year after his accident with Joey Logano, got two races. So you can turn a guy right side, driver's side into the wall at 180 miles an hour and you get one. Oh yeah, and by the way, we won't see um, on the same day the juxtaposition of the 18 crew chief and pit crew who get four weeks suspension for a tire rolling down pit road. Mm. But let me go back, it's okay to spin a guy and knock him into the wall and you only get one. Th that is, the optics of that for NASCAR and the optics are not good. They're just not good. Um, he should have at least gotten the rest of the year. I'm sorry. It's a bold take.